منذ أن وصل الإسلام إلى الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية في القرن التاسع عشر والقرن العشرين عبر هجرة متتالية يرجعها البعض إلى قبل ذلك مع وصول أول العبيد الأفارقة تحيي الجالية الإسلامية في أمريكا طقوس عادات وتقاليد شهر رمضان المبارك هذه المناسبة التي كانت سانحة للسفيرة الأمريكية بالجزائر لتقيم مأدبة إفطار رمضاني على شرف الدبلوماسيين الأمريكيين وشباب المركز الثقافي الأمريكي من الجزائريين So there are people who come from countries all over the world, some from Algeria, some from Indonesia, some from China, Uzbekistan, you name it. We have probably every country in the world represented in the United States. So Ramadan traditions will vary in terms of the food or, or the uh, special things that a family might do. But I think the most important thing is that everyone comes together uh, to share um, that month of reflection, Of, of, of fasting, of piety, and of, of charity, and then of course breaking the fast all together. And I think that spirit of community uh, and charity is what's so important for the month of Ramadan. السفيرة الأمريكية التي تشيك مهمتها على النهاية شددت على ضرورة أن يعم السلام والتقارب بدل التهويل بهوة الإسلاموفوبيا. Well, first I would like to say uh, for me. not just as the ambassador of the United States of America, but on a, on a personal level, it's very important to share in the month of, of Ramadan. Um, it's been an incredible opportunity for me to get to know and understand the traditions here in Algeria um, and to, to show solidarity with people. Um, and I, I hope that there's not a rising tide of Islamophobia in the world. Uh, we're living in complicated times, but I believe that acts of sharing, acts of explaining, such as what we did tonight uh, by hosting an, an iftar with the members of our American Cultural Center, people who are interested in learning about the United <laughs> States and my American colleagues who are interested in learning about Algeria, by, by having these experiences together, we will be able to build that uh, tolerance and understanding that is so vitally needed right now and make the world a better place. رمضان كان مناسبة لردم الفجوة مع الآخر فهو شهر يعلم الصبر والتآخي وفعل الخير والإحسان وأحسن طريق لتطبيق الآية الكريمة التي تقول إن جعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل لتعارفوا